Amen. Praise the Lord. You have heard others testimony. You are the next person to testify. Shall we rise up on our feet? Place your hands in your chest. Father, I pray that you command deliverance upon each and every one. Heed them. Deliver them and give them victory in Jesus' name. Now, shall we get seated? Shall we get seated? Shall we get seated? Shall we open our Bible to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 9, verse 1? Deuteronomy chapter 9, I read verse 1. Here, O Israel, thou art to go pass over Jordan this day, to go into to go in to possess nations greater and mightier than thyself, cities great and fenced up to heaven. A people great and tall. The children of the Anakims, whom thou knowest, and of whom thou hast had say, who can stand before the children of Anak? Understand therefore this day that the Lord thy God is he which goeth before thee as a consuming fire. He shall destroy them, he shall bring down them down before thy face. So shalt thou drive them out and destroy them quickly, as the Lord has said unto thee. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 1. Matthew chapter 3, I read verse 1. And it read In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea. And saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet as Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Uh, if you go to Joshua chapter 3, verse 5. Joshua chapter 3, I read verse 5. And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. So from these verses, we are taking our topic, announcing the great event. Announcing the great event event. Whenever a great event is coming, those who are in charge over the event will begin to announce it. And as well, what shall happen in such event or occasion? Like if you go to the book of Luke chapter 14 verse 6. Luke chapter 14 and I read verse 16. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidding, Come, for all things are now ready. So, Something good is about to happen in our midst. Come the 11th and 12th of June. Title, and the enemies submitted. 
So God is set. And all our enemies shall submit in Jesus' name. I say your enemies shall submit. Our enemies shall submit. If you believe it, can I hear you shout a louder amen? amen. All the enemies who have troubled you and your family must submit. Amen. God has done it before, has he? He has done it before and he's said to do it again and they shall not escape. I said they shall not escape. Remember, it is once in two years and the great program has come again. So we must get ready and prepare for the Lord to subdue our enemies on this program. Praise the Lord. So we are going to consider this message under the following subheadings. Point one, the reason and the great program explained. And point two, our expected response and the effect. So we are looking at our first point, which is the reason. And the great program explained. Whenever announcement is or whenever announcement or advertisement is made, all that are consigned will take the advantage or will be aware of that event and they will do the necessary preparation to ensure that they will be in that great event. Now, if you go to the book of Amos chapter 4 verse 12, in Amos, if you open your Bible to Amos chapter 4, and I read verse 12, and it reads, Therefore, thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, and because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. So therefore, to meet with God requires great preparation. And another reason for this announcement is to inform all our friends, our colleagues, and our relations of the soon coming event. Now, if you look at the book of Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 1, Deuteronomy chapter 9, and I read verse 1, and it reads, Hear, O Israel, thou art to go, thou art to pass over Jordan this day, to go in, to possess nation greater and mightier than thyself. Cities great and fence up to heaven. A people great and tall, the children of the Anakims, whom thou knowest, and of whom thou hast heard say, Who can stand before the children of Anak? Understand therefore this day that the Lord thy God is he which goeth over before thee as a consuming fire. He shall destroy them, he shall bring them down before thy face. So, shall thou drive them out and destroy them quickly as the Lord has said unto thee. So you can see in time, in this time, the announcement was given to the people which is here, O Israel, of what the Lord is about to do. And so, all I want us to understand is that our program and the enemy submitted which take place in this church once in two years is at hand. Come 11 and 12 of June 2022. And I want to let you know, this program is one of the greatest program in choosing where impossibilities are made possible. Where unbreakable yokes are broken. Where all the enemies confronting us submit, and everyone goes home rejoicing. Praise the Lord. So I want you to know, it is your turn for your enemies to submit. 
Do you believe it? I say it is your turn for your enemies to submit. If you believe it, can I hear you say amen? This takes us to our second point, our expected response and effect. Everyone is expected to take advantage of this announcement today and be aware of the great event and began to prepare ourselves in purity and in absolute righteousness. If you look at the book of Amos chapter 4 verse 12, in Amos chapter 4, if you look at Amos chapter 4, and I read verse 12, And it read, Therefore, thus will I do unto thee, O Israel. And because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. Remember, our Father in heaven, who is coming to subdue all our enemies, is holy. And he cannot walk with us if we disagree with him in holiness or absolute righteousness. That is why in Amos chapter 3, verse 3, Amos chapter 3, if you look at verse 3, can two walk together except they be agreed? So that means that for God, for us to, uh, for God to subdue our enemies, we must agree with God in righteousness by ensuring purity. Remember the Bible says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall do what? See God. So, we must sanctify ourselves. We must be holy. So that our God will have his way. If you look at Joshua chapter 3 verse 5. In Joshua chapter 3 verse 5. And the three. And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves for tomorrow. The Lord will do wonders among you. So you can see the charge that Joshua gave to the people of Israel to sanctify themselves because of what the Lord is about to do in their midst. That if you go to the book of Matthew, um, Exodus chapter 19, verse 10. Exodus chapter 19. And I read verse 10. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their clothes and be ready against the third day. For the third day, the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people upon Mount Sinai. Praise the Lord. So you can see that the, the charge was for them to prepare themselves by cleansing themselves because of what the Lord is about to do. If you go to the book of um, Hebrew chapter 12 verse 14, in Hebrew chapter 12, and I read verse 14. Hebrews chapter 12. And it reads from verse 14. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. If you look at the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 8, Matthew chapter 5, and I read verse 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So, my brethren, I want to let you know as we ensure purity, come 11 and 12, I want to let you know we shall see God. God will come and he will make our enemies to submit in Jesus' name. In the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, Uh, 
I read verse 23 of the first Thessalonians chapter 5. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray that God, I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. In 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 15, 1 Peter chapter 1, reading from verse 15. And I read verse 15. But as he, as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. So you can see that we must make sure that we ensure purity inside and outside, so that come that day, our enemies, God will make our enemies to submit. So, also, as for those who have not bought apron, they must buy apron and begin to wear them. And also, buy for others. Remember, if you see the sister that testified today, she told us that apron is from above. I don't know who had it. She also said handbill is from above. So, we must put it on and go everywhere and also buy banners if you have not bought them and put them in strategic places. And we should also collect handbill and magazine if we have not and begin to share them to people as a matter of invitation to come for the program. If you look at the book of Luke chapter 14 verse 16, Luke chapter 14, And I read verse 16. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidding, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. They first said unto him, I bought a piece of ground. I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I bought five yoke of oxen. And I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his Lord this thing. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lay into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor, and the maimed, and the halt, and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto him, the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. So you can see the charge. So you know when they began to the master, the servant came back and was giving, telling the master that some were giving excuse. He said, "Go out, compel them to come." So we must compel everyone to come. We must you know begin to preach and begin to evangelize. And if you have been doing it, let us do it more. Be it from boss to boss evangelism, be it uh, from market to market, from street to street evangelism, let us all be involved in it. And if, as I said, if you have been doing it, let us do it more because of the great program that is coming. And also, we should go for morning and afternoon an evening cry. And if we have been doing it, let us intensify our effort. Praise the Lord. And do it as a matter of invitation that others may come and be saved. Praise the Lord. So that means that, that 
All we need to do is to go out a mass, compel everyone to come. After the service today, tomorrow, make sure that everyone come to this program. And I want to let you know that as you do that, your enemy shall submit. Our enemy shall submit in Jesus' name. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 47. Matthew chapter 5. And I read verse 47. And if you salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so. If you go to Revelation chapter 22, verse 17. Revelation chapter 22. And I read verse 17. And the spirit and the bride say, Come. And let him that hear it say, Come. And let him that is at this come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. So, my brethren, as we come, invite others to come. All I want to assure us this Saturday and Sunday, all our enemies shall submit in Jesus' name. Shall we rise up to pray? Tell the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord, you need a grace. To announce this great event, ask the Lord to help you pray. Our Father, I present myself and each and every one of us present here. We ask you, O God, for the grace to announce the great event. To go out, invite others to come. O God, we depend on you. Father, for our sufficiency, for our sufficiency is of thee, O God. We ask, Lord, strengthen us, quicken us. Father, O oh God, to, oh God, respond to this message. We ask him, give every one of us the grace. Lord, we pray, help each and every one of us. Father, we depend on you. Oh, Lord, my Father, I depend on you. I ask for the grace. Ask, help us to respond to this message. O oh God, as you have instructed us. Father, have your way, O oh God. In Jesus' powerful name, we have prayed. Begin to tell the Lord what you want him to do for you. I want you to begin to tell the Lord to do this, to visit you. Begin to present all your needs before him. Ask him, Father, visit me. Lord, bless me. Father, hear me. Lord, deliver me. Father, fight for me. Begin to present every, all your supplications. Our Father, Lord, I pray for every request being presented. I pray, Father, intervene, visit everyone. Oh God, remember us. Father, I pray, O oh God, grant all our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I pray, Father, bless us, O oh God. I pray every, O oh God, request the brethren are presenting before you, O oh Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray let the request be granted. For it is written, casting all our care unto you, for you care for us. Lord, we pray, O God, all our supplications, all our needs, all our requests. I pray, Father, we are bringing, we are brought, bringing before you. I pray, Lord, let answers be granted to them, O God. I pray, Father, intervene, O God, by your power. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now I'm praying for you. Almighty Father, I pray for all our needs. You have asked us to ask, and it shall be given to us. But as we have, oh God, asked you, present all our needs before you, I pray let our needs be granted in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray heed the sick, deliver the oppressed. Oh God, make a way where there seems to be no way for them in Jesus' name. In Jesus' powerful name, we have prayed. You are blessed.